Daily Broadside Day 558. There are numerous reasons why I don't own a lion. Uh, number one is, um, I think it's illegal in this state, but even if it wasn't, the logistics of buying one on the black market, getting it shipped here, I don't even know how all that works, and it just seems like a lot of hassle. Second thing is, I don't really want a meat bill every week that probably exceeds my house payment, you know? I mean, I, you'd have to buy cows by like the cow, you know, and then just have them just chopped up because... I mean, there's things to eat like 40 pounds of meat a day. Like, that's insane, right? I don't eat that well, right? The third thing would be, I don't want to go to the extent to have to build some kind of, you know, confined area, some kind of huge, you know, welded cage so that that thing couldn't get loose and then thereby me, you know, be liable for whatever it destroys. It'd be like an American werewolf in London just running through the streets eating people and I'm, I'm to blame. But the number one reason... I think that I don't want to have a lion, although brilliant, majestic creatures as they are, um, and would be pretty badass to, you know, take it through lows, you know, like people do their dogs and all. But I think the biggest reason is the fact that every dog that I've ever owned, at least three or four times in its life, I've stepped on its its foot or its tail or accidentally kicked it or something. And, you know, it screeches out and whines and yelps and all this because you're you know, you're 200 pounds and it's 14 pounds and you just stepped on its foot. So it, it cries. And I think to myself, as I watched this dude this morning, you know, playing with his pet lion, you know, he's rubbing his face on the lion's face and he's had it since it was a cub or a pup or whatever a baby lion is. Uh, and that's great. You know, it's 10 years old. It hadn't bit him yet. I don't trust that thing one ounce. I don't, I no further than I can throw it as a baby. Do I trust that thing? But uh, it would be my luck. I would, at some point, accidentally step on that dumb lion's foot. And God knows what happens from there. Does it just, you know, swipe my head right off my body? I don't know. Uh, but I don't want to find out. Um, and so that is the main reason that's driving the train of why there is, when you come to my house, why people um, are always going, why is there no lion here? That's why. I don't think I have ever seen a comedian with a guitar that made me laugh. I don't think it exists. I think comedian, I mean, there's a couple little witty things and whatnot, but if your whole act involves you playing a guitar, same thing with, uh, um, what are those puppets? Um, what's that guy's name that is like the leader of that pack? Uh, Jeff Dunham. I don't find any of that crap. I mean, it's, I'm impressed that you can say all these words that don't have B in them. Um, but, uh, you know, and your lips don't move, but I, it's just, I'm just not impressed and it's not funny. It's never funny. You know, it's really, it's kind of stupid. Um, and, and the same thing goes with guitar. Guitar's not supposed to be funny. You play some dumb little songs that sound like Adam Sandler or whatever. If you get boils down to it, it's really not funny. And so I find that to be a crutch. I find that to people that people that really aren't that funny, they got to play guitar so they get people, you know, drunk people in particular to uh, kind of sign on to, uh, you know, their their way of thinking and all this. If I go into somebody's house and it says live, laugh, love anywhere, I'm out the door. I got no time for that. Um, that's just, that's just white girl 101. And I can't stand people who are that unoriginal that they would, you know, plaster that crap across their living room wall over the kitchen you know, above the door leading into the garage, wherever it might be. And I think we can all agree that there's varying degrees of what we find acceptable and likable in the world of tattooing and body piercing, body modification in, in general. You know, um, I, I think that, um, you know, some things are a little excessive. I like, I like face tattoos. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to look like a MS-13 gang member, but, um, you know, some tastefully done, um, you know, stuff on your face. I got no problem with, but, uh, I think we should all, you know, draw the line with these new fangled, um, freckle tattoos. Um, and it's not like, like I saw somebody yesterday that was wanting to be a dude. So they're, they're putting a really, really fine, like, um, five o'clock shadow mustache on their lip. And yes, although it looked dumb in the greater scheme of things, because it still looked like a girl, um, with just a mustache that had just been shaved yesterday the tattoo was well done. You know, it, it, it looked like stippling, you know, done well with, with, you know, from a distance, you would think if you just saw like this much of the person, you would think, Oh, they got a mustache that, that, you know, a five o'clock shadow or whatever. But these freckles, um, 
they're it's this trend is getting a little out of hand it's like these huge dots i mean you look like an exaggerated like pippi longstocking or little orphan annie or something there's just huge dots and there's only like there's like eight here four here and like eight here that's not what freckles look like and believe me i've got the stupid things right if i could give them away i could but i can't um although i think they kind of i think they increase as you get older i don't know but uh I don't know. I just feel like I got more and I don't really have really profound ones, but I feel like I have more than I did 20 years ago. But, uh, yeah, the freckle tattoos, whew, it's, I, I just, I don't understand what people are going for, man. Like you've got to, you got to have a mirror with some of this stuff. You know, I think you should be to, to me, depending on what you do in life, I think your professional career needs to be, um, you, you should be able to cover up everything and look somewhat normal, you know, if need be. And not just be all freckled and bedazzled out in your face and neck tattoos, a lips and a king and queen and all this dumb crap. But again, to each his own, you know, it's whatever. We all have things that we, we like and we have things that we don't like. And that's what makes the world go round. Giddy.